Hello, my dear students. I welcome you all in your English classes. And today in this class, we will learn the next poem of Unit Two, and the title of the poem is Nine Gold Medals. Nine Gold Medals is a poem written by the American rock vocalist, songwriter, and author David Roth. This poem celebrates human values of cooperation, compassion, empathy, fairness, and concern. And this poem reveals the story of nine differently able athletes who participated in a special Olympics. Nine special runners had trained themselves to the racing event with the hope of winning the gold medal. However, as the race began, the youngest runner tripped and fell on the ground, which made all the other athletes stop to help him without any hesitation. In life, we often prioritize competitions and focus on winning them at any cost, irrespective of what comes our way. However, there are even bigger things in life than just winning a competition. This poem emphasizes on the sportsmanship and kindness exhibited by these athletes that made them win a gold medal each for their exemplary behavior. And the poem is written much like a story in a very simple language, and to some extent, we can say this is based on a true account, true story. We can say, especially Olympics is uh, the world's largest sports organization for people with disabilities that focuses on developing the qualities of sportsmanship, self confidence, and team spirit in the individuals. According to some folks at the Special Olympics Washington office, this incident happened in the 1976 track and field event held at Spokane, Washington, when one of the athletes uh, did actually fall down, seeing which two or three other participants stopped to lift him up and eventually finished the race together. However, everyone participating in the race didn't turn back. This does not, however, change the message that the poem gives us, as the spirit of empathy, uh, consideration, and brotherhood surpasses the achievement of merely winning a competition at any point. So, this story also, uh, you know, gives an important message. So, let's find out the important message in the poem. We'll discuss the poem stanza-wise. So, here. We have first stanza. The athletes had come from all over the country to run for the gold, for the silver and bronze. Many weeks and months of training, all coming down to to these games. So, athletes have come from many countries all over the world to take part in the Special Olympics. They were there to compete for medals and medals uh, like gold, silver, and bronze. They have gone through, we can say, a very tough training for months to participate in the events, with high hopes and dreams for winning medals. Stanza two: The spectators gathered around the old field to cheer on all the young women and men. The final event of the day was approaching. Excitement grew high to begin. Now, uh, a large audience was present at the ground to cheer the participants of different events. They cheered and enjoyed throughout the day. Now it was time for the final event of the day, and that was the race, the uh, dash. We can say hundred yard dash, hundred meter race. So people were eagerly waiting for the event to begin. Third stanza we have: the blocks were uh, all lined up for those who would use them. The hundred yard dash, dash here, uh, short distance race, and the race to be run. These were nine resolved athletes in back of the starting line, poised for the for the sound of the gun. So the names of the runners who would take part in the hundred meter race were announced, and there were nine participants actually, all determined to win the competition and lined up behind the starting point. As uh, usually, हमने देखा होगा जब race होती है तो सब अपने अपने track में स्टार्ट करने के लिए रुके होते हैं जैसे ही आप को सिग्नल मिलता है आप रन रेस शुरू कर देते हो दैट्स इन दैट सेम वे दे ऑल वर लाइंग इन यू नो ट्रैक्स नाइन पार्टिसिपेंट्स वर देयर एंड दे ऑल वर डिसेबल सो दे वर दे ऑल वर नाइन पार्टिसिपेंट्स दे वर रेडी टू स्टार्ट वेटिंग फॉर द साउंड ऑफ द गन टू गिव द सिग्नल 
and we have stanza 4 now the signal was given the pistol exploded and so did the runners all charging ahead but the smallest among them he stumbled and staggered and fell to the asphalt instead now what happened uh, they were waiting for the gun to signal for the signal so the pistol exploded signaling the start of the race all the runners charged ahead along their respective tracks but suddenly there occurred an unexpected thing the shortest athlete among them stumbled and staggered and fell on his knees to the ground the asphalt track asphalt uh, we can say uh, is a substance that is used to make surface of the road so jo that smallest among uh them smallest or youngest we can say um, that pass part spent on nine mein se jo sabse chhota part spent tha wo kya hota hai gir jata hai asphalt track matlab ki us track pe jo track unhone banaya hota hai racing ke liye us pe wo gir jata hai this was unexpected thing happened but let's find out further uske baad kya hua he gave out a cry in frustration and anguish his dreams and his efforts all dash in the dirt but as sure as i am standing here telling this story the same goes for what next occurred uh, now nothing could be more uh, frustrating for a differently able athlete after such tough training the moment he fell he knew all his dreams hopes and efforts were dusted his pain and disappointment made him give out a cry but it did not end here there occurred something really strange following his fall now this was the strange thing that was happened but yes aage bhi ek strange thing hui unexpected thing hui jisko aap keh sakte believe nahi hua kisi ko ki aisa bhi ho sakta hai and that was the eight other runners pulled up on their heels the ones who had trained for so long to compete one by one they all turned around and went back to help him and brought the young boy to his feet strangely enough the eight other athletes who were ahead of him stopped in their tracks wo sab ruk gaye wahan jo aage bhag rahe the though they had trained hard uh, for so long to compete with one another and win medals the fall of one athlete changed their minds they now return one by one and help the fallen one stand up on his feet that was unexpected that was strange jitne bhi runner the wo ruk gaye aur uski help karne ke liye wapas uske paas gaye usko uthaya uske pairon pe khada kiya then then all the nine runners join hands and continued the 100 yard dash now reduced to a walk and a banner above that said special olympics could not have been more on the mark then then all the nine athletes joined hands and walked to the finishing line together the 100 meter race was reduced to a walk that means uh, that race is now uh, we can say reduced to a walk why because they all were walking towards the finishing line all together they were not running they were walking all together but still it was special for the great display of human compassion cooperation and sportsman spirit it could not it uh, could not have been more special in any way so this was special uh, this was special that they were uh, not running the race uh, separately they were joining hands together and walking towards the finishing line next for that's how the race ended with nine gold medals they came to the finish line holding hands still and a standing ovation and nine beaming faces said more than these words ever will that's see the, this uh, stanza is repeated here because they uh, the poet wants to emphasize uh, the you know uh, ab- emphasizes on uh the meaning of these lines we can say so that's why he repeated this stanza again and said that so much more than these words ever will that means uh the race ended last mein khatam ho gayi race with nine athletes holding their hands right to the finishing mark or 
दे वन नाइन गोल्ड मेडल्स वन फॉर ईच वेरी डिजर्विंगली सबको गोल्ड मेडल मिला नाउ हेयर आई सेट डिजर्विंगली मतलब ऐसा नहीं है कि उनको गोल्ड मेडल ऐसे ही दे दिए हों बट येस दे डिजर्व दैट दैट्स वाई दे गॉट दोज मेडल्स द नाइन स्पोर्ट्स मैन स्टूड इन स्माइलिंग फेसेज अंडर द मैनर दैट डिक्लेयर इट एज अ स्पेशल ओलम्पिक्स दो स्माइलिंग फेसेज टच द हार्ट ऑफ एवरी वन प्रजेंट देर इट डिलीवर्ड समथिंग स्पेशल ग्रेट फीलिंग ग्रेट लेसन दिस मेयर पोएम इज नॉट इनफ टू एक्सप्रेस इट वॉज बियॉन्ड वर्ड्स दिस पोएम इज बियॉन्ड वर्ड्स दिस वी कैन से पोइट वॉन्ट्स अस टू यू नो रियलाइज द मीनिंग ऑफ कंपेनियनशिप सो दिस पोएम इज अ ब्यूटिफुल पोएम depicting the companionship of all the eight athletes uh, the runners have truly justified the spirit of special olympics with their gesture of empathy sportsmanship and consideration and according to me uh, the message of the poem nine gold, gold medals by david roth is it doesn't require for people to be uh, you know from a country or a place to show kindness and sportsmanship it also gives us a message that being selfless and helping others can do a lot of good not only to the person who is being helped but also to the person who is helping so this poem uh, we can say celebrates the true spirit of sportsmanship cooperation collaboration and kindness towards other humans Uh, the poet uh, strongly emphasizes on the fact that winning is not more important than participating the generous of uh, uh, generous and kind behavior of those athletes towards their fellow participant help them win the applause of the spectators uh, though each one of them had uh, participated uh, in this uh, race and practiced so hard for the event they put aside their efforts and continue to help the, that boy uh, this uh, shows that the world today does not need uh, competition but cooperation and collaboration with others so i hope you got the poem this was the poem and this message uh, has been depicted in this poem so best of luck students and i hope that you also will you know inculcate these uh good habits